welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's having a good day today so far. Today I'm here with just a small drugstore haul, some stuff that I recently got, a lot of e.l.f. products actually, that I've gotten, I guess probably in the last month or so, that I've really been enjoying. Um, and you know, the drugstore stuff, honestly, probably the last year I've just started really enjoying it because I wasn't really a drugstore junkie as much as a you know, high-end junkie with makeup um, because I could play with it and try it on at Sephora and you know, all the different makeup counters at Dillard's, Nordstrom and whatnot. So I always leaned more that direction and I don't know, I was just addicted to it and I'm still addicted to it, but I also am really enjoying the drugstore products as well. So these are some things that I wanted to pick up because I've been really enjoying e.l.f. I mean, a lot of the e.l.f. stuff for the $3 price tag or less if you get the stuff in the white containers is really, really actually pretty good. And um, I saw a couple things on their website, so I thought I'd pick a couple things up. And then just here and there throughout running to Walgreens, Walmart, whatever, Target, I've picked up some things that I've been wanting to try. So let's go ahead and start with brushes first. These were, I wanna say $6. If they weren't, I will link what they were below. These are more than the usual $3 e.l.f. brushes. Ew, hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. I have my phone on silent now. Okay, so brushes. I just got a couple um, from e.l.f. and these are like the $6 brushes, so they're a little bit nicer than just the $3 ones. These are new brushes actually. And they do run $6. I have said that already. But I will tell you again, $6 really isn't bad for these. So this is the first one, and this one is the Ultimate Blending Brush. And I got this, and I'm going to do a review on it. I haven't used it yet. This is what it looks like. It's very, very soft. I mean, I was going to compare it to the one that I have from Urban Decay that looks like this that I do my uh, foundation with. And then also I have one from It Cosmetics that I do my foundation with. So I was gonna compare it to that because this is a really, really good foundation brush. And you know, a lot of them, like my favorite Tarte one, I wanna say I paid like 30 bucks for. So for $6, this is a bargain if it works well, you know, to get your foundation on. So I'm gonna do a review and um, maybe even a demo with this. Um, do like half face, high end brush, half face with this on an upcoming video and we will see how it works. But yeah, this is what I picked up. So I'm excited to try it. It is soft so far. It's really sturdy. It feels well made. I, I know the first brush that I started using, like I always use the Beauty Blender and then I thought, you know, I'm gonna start trying brushes. And the first brush I ever bought was the $3 powder brush for e.l.f. I should have brought that with me. It's the flat topped one. I'll try to insert a picture if I can figure out how. It's like the flat top one that's three dollars and it actually says it's for powder but it looks it reminds me a lot of the the sigma flat all the flat top ones that you know people use for their foundation um but honestly that was the first brush i used and until i started getting nicer ones i didn't realize that i didn't like that one i mean it did a great job as far as putting your foundation on so if that's in your budget it is a good um it is good at that um it's very dense it's easy to get your foundation on it does an even job but as far as the bristles, I will say they're not nearly as soft as any of them. But this one is really soft. So I'm liking this one so far. I haven't used it, but I'm liking the way it's put together. It feels sturdy. It feels more like a high-end brush than their typical $3 brushes. So that one's good. The next one I got is the blending brush. And it's itty-bitty, if you can tell. In the picture when I bought it, it does feel sturdy. And again, this one is very soft, kind of fan-shaped. And, you know, when I got it online, I didn't realize it was going to be thin like this because people were saying they were using this for foundation and had really great reviews. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't think I would use this for foundation, but what I'm going to try this for, it reminds me of a smaller version of my IT Cosmetics big fat brush that I put my bronzer on with. And I think you could really get in there and contour with this. So I'm going to do a review and demonstration with this as well. I don't really want to tell you guys what I think yet because, again, I have not tried these. Um, but I'm going to try them. And I'm really impressed so far with how sturdy these feel and how just soft they are for a you know six dollar brush. But I really think this would be great to really get in there if you can kind of tell and get a contour and then kind of blend it out a little bit. And you know if you wanted to kind of bronze up your forehead too, this actually would be better than the other than my It Cosmetics for traveling because it's just a lot smaller. I'll have to. I should have brought the cosmetics one to compare, but I will whenever I actually do the review of these and if they would be a good dupe for the cosmetics brush. Okay, let's go to eyes. So I got one, two, three, four, five of these smudge pots. I already had, what did I already have actually? Um, Cruise and Chic, I think. These, I don't think these all have the names. Yes, Cruise and Chic. Okay, so I've already had Cruise and Chic, if you can kind of tell. 
it's kind of a bronzy color and I really liked it. So I picked up a other, couple other colors online that I can never find in the drugstore. There's lots more selection online. So let me do some swatching. I love these smudge pots. You don't need any primer with them. They last all day. They're beautiful finish. This is Cruisin' Chic. Beautiful, beautiful finish. This is kind of like a taupey brown color. Beautiful finish on these. They last all day. They're creamy. I want to say they're $3. Um, yeah, they're three dollars, two or three dollars, and they are uh, they remind me a lot of the Maybelline color tattoos, and I have those as well. But I mean, these are even half the price of those, so I mean, I think you get a pretty good deal for what you get here. This is they're probably not as hard actually, they're a little te different texture, I'd say, than the if you can tell. This one here is kind of a pinky color, and this is ain't that sweet, if you can kind of tell. You could tell more on my finger, but it kind of these are a little, I don't know, like creamier or something. They're not quite as like hard as the Maybelline color tattoos to me. So that's Ain't That Sweet. I love, love. I highly recommend if you want an inexpensive cream shadow, you could even put these down as a base. Um, you know, if you don't want to spend the money on like a paint pot, if you're into like paint pots from MAC, you could use these as a base and they'll keep your eyeshadow on and they're only $3. Back to basics. It's kind of a gold color. This one's kind of metallic-y. This is back to basics right here. And let's see, what else did I get? Brownie points. Running out of fingers. Brownie points is kind of a darker brown, but very pretty. And these dry to like a powdery finish. There's brownie points. They're just, I mean, they're just really awesome. I mean, for $3, a lot of this elf stuff, now there's some elf stuff that I don't like. I don't like a lot of the dollar stuff, but I mean, a lot of them are just, they really, really impress me. Okay, nothing to wipe this on. I'll wipe over here. And I mean, they're just, they're really good products for the money. I'm going to have to put this one down here because I don't know where else I can. This is Pearls of Wisdom. It's a really gorgeous, okay, figure out the camera here, ding dong. Okay, here is Pearls of Wisdom. If you can kind of, okay, really? I think I'm half, I don't want to say retarded, that's not politically correct. So scratch that, didn't say that, but I'm just not really <laughs> working with this camera very well. So anyway, these are the colors here um, that I got. And I mean, you can see they're very, very pigmented. I just plop them on with my finger. You can use a brush, um, but very pigmented, very pretty colors. And I like them. And for $3, you cannot beat that. And again, I'm gonna put you on pause because I forgot the wipes. Do wipe off the swatches to get to the lip products. So, be back in a minute. If I can hit pause. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. And let me just say that um, I really need to probably have more coffee. I had some coffee this morning, but I just kinda woke up feeling off. I had a crazy busy week this week, and then I finally got some rest today and I don't think I had enough coffee and I just woke up. My allergies are crazy, just not feeling so hot. So I just kind of feel scatterbrained today. So if it shows, that's why. Anyhow, um, so these actually took quite a bit of scrubbing to get them off of my hand. I mean, they have some serious staying power once they dry. I mean, for $3, seriously, guys, highly, highly recommend these smudge pots. Like, they're awesome. I mean, there's a lot of good products at the drugstore. And I mean, I give credit to YouTube and all the, you know, vloggers, bloggers, whatever they're called, that I've watched. And like, I see them like rave about this stuff. And, like, they've really intrigued me to want to try them. And then I'm really, really glad that I have because, I mean, there's a lot of products I'm liking, like foundation and everything. I just never would have thought. And I am. So, okay, one more eye product and then we'll get to the lip products and that's all. I went ahead, I couldn't find my brown Rimmel liner for some reason. So, um, I don't know what happened to it. So I went ahead and got this. It's new. It's called the Exager Exag la 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 la. <laughs> Exaggerate Smoke and Shine Automatic Gel Eyeliner. It's a gel eyeliner. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try that because I usually just get the scandalized. But I thought this would be something different to try. So this is what it looks like. It comes with a little blender here on the bottom. And a lid to keep that like that. And it is an automatic. Hello. Get in the camera. It is an automatic gel liner. And let me go ahead and do a swatch. This is in the color Copper Bling. Do kind of a thick swatch. It's a really pretty coppery color. 
I like it. Okay, I just realized I totally still have, if you can see right there, right there. That stuff does not budge, it gets everywhere. That elf smudge pot, and I'm OCD, so that was totes bugging me. Okay, lip stuff. So let me start with some elf stuff that I got. I wasn't sure I really would ever like um, matte lips because I feel like I just have dry lips and no matter how much I moisturize them, they just feel dry to me. So I wasn't sure I'd like it. And then when I got those ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Liquid Lips, I have been absolutely loving a matte lip. Sometimes I just, when my lips are, you know, when I exfoliate them with my sugar scrubs and, you know, keep the moisturizer on, I mean, I can get them under control. And I've really been enjoying it. And the lasting power of them, and they're not getting all over my, whoops. Eh, things are flying at me all over my coffee cups and stuff. I um I really like that. So I got a couple of these. These are only three dollars. Three dollars. You heard me. Three. Mm -hmm. I said three. So I got the Elf Matte Lip Color, and they come in these little pencils, which I like. I got the colors T Rose and Natural. Um, I've worn one of them so far, and I will say the staying power is not as good as the liquid lips from ColourPop, but it was good and I do like them. They are a much drier formula. And at the bottom they come with like a little shaper, if you will, like the, the color part in the bottom comes off like that. And it's like a little shaper because they are um, like this, kind of like the lippy sticks. Um, which again, I like because you can get really, you can get in there and you can just line first and then fill in so you don't need a liner with these. Um, so I really do like that. So this one is T Rose. Let me go ahead and get swatching and quit running my mouth. This is a really pretty pink color. It's kind of a pinky purple, I guess. If my camera would just do it justice. I'm to get a new camera. I just got to save the money first. They're expensive. Okay, this one is natural. And you'd think it was brown. There's one that's kind of a brown color that I want to get online. I got these at the drugstore. Natural is kind of a pink, a, a your lips but better kind of peachy pink color. So this second one here is natural, and then this is tea rose. This one's a lot more purple, and this one's a lot more peachy pink. So I'm thoroughly enjoying those as well. Okay, let's stick to e.l.f. before I get to the other brands. I got a couple e.l.f. lipsticks. I wanted to try their lipsticks as well, because again, $3. I mean, seriously, I can go a bit crazy on the e.l.f. site. And then I went to... um. Oh, what website? Retail Me Not or something like that. And there was a coupon code for spend $25 free shipping. So I got this free shipping. I didn't want to pay shipping on cheap makeup. I mean, I know that's horrible to say that but and be that cheap, but I just hate paying shipping on stuff. And you can get free shipping. I'm all about that. Because you can buy this at the drugstore, but they don't have anything except those little tourney uh, display carts or whatever they're called. Um, and that's all they have. And they don't have all the colors. So you have to buy it online sometimes. Anyways, this is Barely Bitten. This is just one of their mineral lipsticks. I wanted to try that. It's kind of a, good God, I'm like holding it down there. So this is Barely Bitten. It's just kind of a darker pink color. I thought it was a pretty pink, so I got that one. I have not tried, well, no, I did try that one. I've only worn it once. It doesn't have as long of staying power as the matte ones, but it does have some good staying power. Now this one I actually liked the best. I got one of the moisturizing lipsticks to try that, see what the difference was. I believe they have the mineral ones, they have moisturizing ones, and they have like a lip gloss or something, I think, and then the matte ones are new. So this is in the color Ravishing Rose. I like pinks, can you tell? And it's just kind of a deeper pink than the other one. The other one's kind of more peach, I guess, if you put them next to each other. So that is Ravishing Rose, and let me say, I like these moisturizing ones. They feel great on the lips. Um, pretty good lasting power. I really like the moisturizing one. I did use that one so far. Okay. The other two lipsticks that I got are actually uh, pricier than e.l.f. I mean, and the e.l.f. were just as good to me, but um, these weren't too bad. I want to say this Milani one was $5.99 or something, but I had some uh, coupons. I think I got this at CVS and it was on sale, and then I think I had a coupon at Ulta with this one. So this is Milani. This is pretty natural. This is their, it's just again, one of my pink colors. It's right here at the top. Pretty natural. One of my pink rosy colors. It's kind of a, I think it's described as like a rosy color. And I want to say this is not one of the moisturizing lipsticks. It was just a color statement. Like they have a moisturizing one 
I think, and they have a color, or no, they have a matte, a matte one, and then a color statement. This is a color statement. Um, it is, though, drier to me than some of the other formulas, for sure. Like this moisturizing one, I don't know if you can kind of see the sheen on it, but the e.l.f. moisturizing one, it has a really, it reminds me of the ColourPop from, um, not ColourPop. That's, color, that's a totally different brand. Hello. I really need coffee. Reminds me of the Clinique Pop lips, lip pops, pop, whatever they're called. Those things. You know, the little, I've had them in the video before. Um, kind of the, the, how they kind of have a built-in like moisturizer and they just have a really nice sheen to them. It reminds me of that. It's really nice on the lips. The last one I have here is a Maybelline and I wanted to try, everyone talks about their mattes and since, like I said, I'm having an obsession with, um, mattes lately. I wanted to try theirs as well. And this is Lust for Blush. It's one of their matte lipsticks. Again, it's pink. Okay, let's see. I'm going to stick it here. This is kind of, I actually am wearing this today. And I'm wearing my um, Metamorphosis palette from ColourPop. That was on the video before the last maybe, or maybe the last one. Here we go. Lust for Blush, the Maybelline Matte really like these they go on and they are the least dry matte formula i have had yet these are the driest to me well this and the color pop are probably equally dry but this is actually i mean it's matte i mean as you can see it's matte but it doesn't feel like it's clinging like the other one's really kind of dry sometimes and you can tell like there if your lips aren't aren't moisturized enough that you have a matte lip on i definitely want to pick up a couple more of these actually i think i'm gonna go to ulta later because today's the last day of their three times your points for um I want to say VIB, but that's Sephora. Um, I can't remember now because I'm totally having a brain fart. Please excuse. I'll put that down below here or something when I remember what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, I better cut it off now. I'm just not having a good day. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, definitely check out your drugstore. You can get some great deals there. I mean, and you've got some great products to choose from. So if your budget is drugstore, I mean, get them. And even if your, your budget's high end, check out the drugstore because, I mean, I was pleasantly surprised. They've got some really great products out now that they just don't, that I just didn't think they had, I guess, maybe. I don't know, but they're great. Anyways, have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you in my next video. So, bye.